Once upon a time, spring was upon us. It's time to get into the May TBR. And remember, I did promise there would be merch. Roll the intro. Hey, welcome back to BellTube, everyone. I'm Brian Bell. This channel talks about fantasy books and science fiction and lit RPG. And today we are discussing the TBR for the month of May. It is my birthday month. We've got some incredible guests lined up for content this month. I'm going to share with you later on in this episode who's coming on for Whom the Bell Tolls, which is our live interview show. It's going to be fantastic. So buckle up. Let's talk about some books and let's talk about some upcoming content. Before we get into the books, I wanted to share share with you on Tuesday, May 7th. It's not only my birthday, but it's actually the exact six month anniversary of BellTube as a channel. So in celebration, we're going to do a live stream. We took a poll in the community tab and I asked, do you guys want to just do an ask me anything or do you guys want me to invite some special guests to join us? And the vote was pretty overwhelming. You guys voted for some special guests. Well, as you have asked, so shall you receive. I've got some great guests coming up for the birthday stream. It is going to be on Tuesday, May 7th, and I really look forward to joining you there. Also, before we get into the May TBR, I had an idea a couple of weeks ago, and I ran it past some of my fellow booktubers to see if they were interested in doing this with me because I've never been in a book club before, and I decided I wanted to try. So I reached out to three people. I reached out to John Minton from Talking Story. I reached out to Dr. Philip Chase from Dr. Philip Chase, The Best of Fantasy. And of course, I had to reach out to the inspiration for this channel to begin with, Mike, from Mike's Book Reviews. And yes, folks, we are starting a book club. We're going to invite you to join us to read along. And we need a name, right? So I came up with a name, the Quilluminati Book Club. Now, hopefully you're seeing a graphic right now. If you're still seeing my face, that means I'm still working on the graphic. But we're actually starting it in June. But I wanted to give everybody a little bit of time to prepare that the book that we're going to be reading in June is called The Vanishing Birds by author Simon Jimenez. The Quilluminati Book Club, coming soon. Okay, so let's get into the May TBR. The first book that I'm going to be reading in May, we're continuing on in the Sun Eater series with book five, Ashes of May. I'm very excited for this book. I had a little bit of mixed thoughts on the last book, Kingdoms of Death, which I'm going to share with you next week when I release my April kind of recap. But I am very excited to continue with Sun Eater. After book five, there's really only one book left that's out right now, and that's Disquiet Gods. So after I finish Disquiet Gods, which we'll probably do in June, you know what I promised next. We're going back to Malazan. More on that next month. Now, the next book that I'll be reading in May, we can almost start a new category called why have I not read this book yet? Or maybe it should be called, How Have I Not Read This Book Yet? So for that, we are going to author Philip K. Dick, and I'm going to be reading Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Now, I know it's kind of the inspiration for Blade Runner, but it's not exactly what Blade Runner turned into. But the whole premise is so intriguing to me, particularly because when he wrote the book, it was about this dystopian kind of cyberpunky future but it was set in the year 2021. Um, Newsflash, we're a couple years ahead of that. There's no flying cars yet. So I'm really interested to see what this book is like. And of course, I'll report back, but that is on the TBR. Do androids dream of electric sheep? And I also wanted to thank everybody who's, you know, subscribed to the channel recently. We have been experiencing some fairly exponential growth. If you've been here a few times and maybe you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, or maybe it's your first time and you just want to know what this thing's all about. Don't be afraid. Fear not my friends click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up like button on the video it helps the channel grow it helps other people find the channel and it gives them some proof that other people like themselves like what we're doing over here i really appreciate it next up for the may tbr we are jumping back into fantasy and this is almost more like historical fantasy from an author that i've only read one book from but i did give that book a full five stars the author is Guy Gavriel Kay, and the book is going to be The Lions of al Rasan. I know nothing about this book. I haven't read the back blurb. I haven't read a synopsis. I haven't seen any reviews of this book intentionally. 
I loved Tigana so much, and everybody's kept telling me, well, Brian, if you love Tigana, you're really going to love the Lions of al -Rasan. So why not? Let's do it. It's birthday month. That's time to get back to some GGK with the Lions of al -Rasan. Now, I have to admit, I've not been hitting my TBR goals as well as I would have hoped to so far. I've been missing them by about a book or two each month. So if there's time for some sight reading beyond the ones that I've already told you, I want to get back into Discworld and read Feet of Clay, which is the book three in the City Watch arc, uh, by, of course, Sir Terry Pratchett. I loved Men at Arms so much. It was absolutely my book of the month for March. I don't want to wait all the way into June or July to continue down this series, but I also don't want to overcommit either. So if there's time, I am going to try to do Feet of Clay, book three in the City Watch arc, in Discworld. I also wanted to share with you something really cool happened the other day. The COO and one of the narrators from the amazing Sound Booth Theater. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for any amount of time, you know how positively and in such high regard I hold Sound Booth Theater as an audio production company. I was thrilled to hear from them and they asked me, hey, would you be interested in a couple of Audible codes really in return for just giving us, you know, a written Audible review or maybe giving us some stars on Amazon and be completely honest and you know are you interested and of course my answer was yes the first book that I'm going to be reading that Sound Booth Theater has offered is called A Dungeon in the Clouds by a guy by the name of Daniel Weber or maybe it's Weber I don't know in any case, I did listen to the little sample that Audible gives you, and the narrator is actually the person that reached out to me. He sounds very good, he sounds very competent, and he sounds like he knows what he's doing when it comes to elevating the written word, which is exactly what I look for in my Audible books. So Dungeon in the Clouds will be part of the May TBR. I will report back. Into the world of Lit RPG again, I sort of slipped a little bit in April, mainly because how I consume my audiobooks, I didn't get the opportunity to spend as many hours doing that. And so what has happened is, is that I had both He Who Fights With Monsters number 10 and Primal Hunter number one, written by a guy named Zogarth, both on my April TBR. I didn't get to either one of them yet so far. It might happen. We've still got a few days left in April, but I'm probably not going to. So I'm going to do one of them in the month of May. It might be He Who Fights With Monsters 10. It might be Primal Hunter. If you're a lit RPG fan and you found this channel and you've read both of those books, or if you are just a huge fan of one of those series, let me know in the comments which you'd prefer me to get started with. I'm leaning towards He Who Fights With Monsters only because that would get me fully current in that series before I start in with Primal Hunter, which I know has a lot of books. Also, at some point, you guys, I have to get to the Wandering Inn. I'm trying to make lit RPG content for the channel as well, and I really don't want to be in a position where people keep asking me, how have you not read The Wandering Inn? And well, you know, the answer is kind of simple. The Wandering Inn is gigantic and it's a little daunting to get started when you still have other ongoing lit RPG series that you're in the middle of. So I'm trying to wrap up or at least get as current as I can with what's already on my plate. But for those of you who've been wondering about The Wandering Inn, it is happening. I don't know if it's in June. I don't know if it's in July. My guess it'll be one of those two. That's what's on the plan. Now, I promised you at the beginning of the video today that we've got some amazing guests coming up for the show for whom the bell tolls. And I'm not kidding. On Wednesday, May 15th, we have the host with the most, the Friday Night Delight, the guy who runs the Fantasy Network. You know it. I'm talking about Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy's coming on the channel. The bell will be tolling for him on May 15th. Now, you might ask yourself, well, Brian, that's a pretty significant guest. Who could you possibly follow him up with? Who would make sense in the big scheme of BookTube, at least in this corner of BookTube, to follow up Jimmy Nuts? Well, I've got the guy, because the following week, on Wednesday, May 22nd, we are welcoming into the channel, the bell will be tolling for a librarian, the head of the Library of Alexandria, Alan himself. What a couple of back-to-back -back episodes that's going to be. I can't wait for you to join us. 
So those are the books I'm at least planning on reading in the month of May. I'm hoping in the comments you can leave below what you're reading. This is really a community, and I want to know what you guys are up to because there's a significant chance, because this has happened before, you leave what's on your TBR, and it winds up on my TBR the following month. So if you want to leave a comment what you're reading, that would be great. I want to get to the one for the road today because it is important, and it's going to be about positivity. It's a shorter one for the road, but it was something that I thought about last night and I wanted to share it with you and maybe see if you guys agree. If you disagree, you can let me know in the comments. But I think that the world that we're in right now is undoubtedly mixed with a lot of negative stuff really everywhere you look. And if we wait for other people to have, you know, kind of a positive energy, a positive vibe about them, we might be waiting a long time. I try to lend as much of my positivity as I can through this camera, through this microphone, so I can try to add some joy to your life. My ask for today is if you could do the same for somebody else, because you don't really know where that positivity may wind up. I think that things kind of compound. And if something nice happens to you, you might do something nice for somebody else. It might just be a kind word or a simple thank you. But a lot of the times that puts somebody in a better state of mood. They treat somebody else more kindly. They treat somebody else more like a human being. And all of these kind of negative grimace thoughts that are going around in the world, I really do think that in some degree it is up to us to at least start a chain of positivity as small and minute as it might be. It can only help things. That's my ask for you today. I hope you can be positive. I hope you found some joy here. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what you're reading and of course, as we send you out of here on every episode of Belltube, here's your fortune.